Did you tell Scott your idea about jet streams? Yeah, putting dye up into the sky to see <laughs> the, it travel in the jet stream like a big purple streak. Wouldn't that be cool? It kind of reminds me of like dying Easter eggs or something, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Year. But Roland has this idea. He just needs to be one of your weather whiz kids, mm -hmm. I swear. Is that possible? <laughs> you know, I, I, there are a lot of people who think that there's all kinds of things being sprayed up in the air right now. And uh, that would yes. be get caught up into the jet stream, right? But we just need to turn it a color so we can see it. That would there be you go. Key. It would be like Easter, wouldn't it? It's so time a of year for that, isn't it? Well, we've got, some, got a couple great questions having to do with the jet stream and storms over the ocean. Here are the two questions. My name is Gigi. I go to Albert Elementary School. And my question is, why are there so many storms farther out in the ocean? I'm Kate Darrington. I'm from Hubbard Elementary. And my question is, how do jet streams form? What do they look like? And how do they affect weather? Excellent questions, and there's a picture of Kate, uh, uh, Kate's uh, show of the ocean here, Kate's picture here, and talking about uh, how does the jet stream form, what does it look like when it forms, and then we have the other question from Gigi saying, why are there so many storms over, over the ocean? I've got those two together because we can kind of put these together here, and I want to show you a, a large view of the northern hemisphere. Here's the western U.S. This is Washington, Oregon, Idaho right here, and the jet stream forms, the main reason is this, the earth, the earth is round, so when the sun heats the earth, it heats it unevenly, and so we have big temperature differences on the earth, and the earth is spinning. That's important as well. So we have the large temperature differences, the cold air to the north, the warm air to the south. Basically, you get temperature differences causing pressure differences, and when you have pressure differences, you have wind wanting to rush from one direction to the next. And so the cold and warm air is trying to balance out all the time, but because the Earth is spinning, what happens is we send everything in motion in the northern hemisphere in the mid-latitudes here from west to east. And so we have the sharp temperature differences. That's where the jet stream is at its strongest. On this map right here, where you see the green and the yellow here, especially over here, this is where the jet stream winds are the strongest on the edge of your screen right there. That is uh, some wind speeds of 150 to 200 miles an hour coming around this jet stream. I put this into motion. The jet stream's constantly snaking across the entire northern hemisphere. There's another one down in the southern hemisphere as well, but it will basically separate high pre uh, cold air to the north and warm air to the south. The storms out over the ocean, there are a lot of storms out over the ocean, but they're also over land as well, and they're pretty much equally distributed all around the entire globe of the northern hemisphere. So there's not necessarily more out over the ocean, although I guess you could say there are because there's more ocean out there than there is land, but they're distributed all around the, the uh, entire uh, northern hemisphere. And the core of the jet stream itself is about five to seven miles up, and so you've got a strong wind, 150 to 200 miles an hour at times. That's what it looks like in the center of the jet stream. And remember, the jet stream will separate the cold and the warm. And we have the biggest temperature contrast. That's where we have the strongest winds in that jet stream. And again, we'll have some jet stream winds coming over us during the wintertime of up to 150 to 200 mile an hour uh, jet stream winds. You see it here in the wintertime. In the summertime, because the temperature differences are a lot less, the jet stream winds tend to settle back down. The wind is not as strong. The jet stream moves to the north, and we enjoy a nice warm summer. See, there it and is. And it's purple. In purple. I know it is purple. <laughs> I thought, you just have to have Scott do it for us. Well, you had asked that question <laughs> earlier, and I saw this graphic, and I thought uh -huh. I'd put this one up because it's nice. got the purple in it. Thank you. It's the purple night. Just trying to help you out. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, the word.